It's corn. It has the juice. It's corn. It's, it's never it's gonna so get old. Disney World can be confusing and expensive, so you're gonna wanna make the most out of your time here. So we're gonna show you how to ride all the rides, eat the iconic snacks, see the animals, the characters, the shows, and way more. Come with us to find the secret to the best day ever here in Animal Kingdom. Yes! Best day ever! Whoa. So three of us all have very different opinions about what makes a best day ever in Disney's Animal Kingdom. And chances are, so the people you're traveling with. So we grouped up to see how you can have a perfect day when everyone has very different opinions. Like I care about the rides and the animals the most. I care about snacks. And I care about the live entertainment and the characters. How can we do it all? Like we're this. Find it. Like, no, like just like this. Just Literally like this. like this. What we're doing right now? Walking. <laughs> all right. So we are here before park open this morning. Early entry guests can go to the left. They are going to scan your magic band to see if you are a resort guest. Unfortunately for us, we are not this morning. So we get to get with this huge crowd over here to the right and wait it out. And I'm pumped. Wait it out, Emma. I love the rope drop. The road I usually take to get to Animal Kingdom was closed. So, I am running late, but I'm here. I made it. Uh, hopefully that they haven't had too much fun without me. What if we went that way? Are we doing a better job? Yeah, ha. Huh? Take that, everybody. We're going around this way. All right. Cool. Same spot. All right. Now that's comedy. All right, so this is interesting. Kilimanjaro Safaris which often opens at Rope Drop. It does not open until 8.30 since Rope Drop was at 8 a.m. today. I think we're probably going to do a secondary Rope Drop of Kilimanjaro Safaris, uh, which is the best, 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 best way to start your day in Animal Kingdom. Now, a lot of people start their day with uh, Avatar Flight of Passage over in Pandora. That's a really good one too, especially because that line gets really long. But since resort guests get 30 minutes of early theme park entry, that line is already long by the time regular guests get in. If you have early entry, I highly recommend rope dropping that. Quick in. Yes. Around. Ah, oh, same spot again. Now, if you have a full day at Disney's Animal Kingdom, you might not feel the need to rope drop. There aren't that many attractions here, but if you're trying to get through everything, including the shows and having some nice time to eat and drink, you might want to consider it. Plus, look how gorgeous the Tree of Life is first thing in the morning. Animals also tend to be more active in the cooler hours in the morning and evening, so having a full day at DAC is a great way to see a lot of the animals um, actually up and about instead of snoozing during the hottest part of the day. I am so, so excited for today, and I guess I should find Sage and Emma. I made Quincy cry yesterday. I whisper saying, remember me from Coco to myself. Just because I was just, I was, I was just, I just liked the song and then she, and then she heard me and then she cried. Speaking of Quincy, where is she? I made it! You do look cute! Thank you! <laughs> Tiny monkey on a net! Watch our Tiny monkey on a net! Oh, oh, Tiny, oh my gosh, this is actually super cute. Tiny this is why you rope drop Animal Kingdom. I'm not even joking. It's because the animals are more active, active in the morning. In the morning. Yeah. We're going to rope drop Kilimanjaro Safaris, which actually doesn't open until 30 minutes after the park opens today. But animals are very active in the morning, and this ride gets very, very popular. Plus, we have Genie Plus. So hopefully that means we get to ride it again later. Fingers crossed. I'm just going to dance back here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. This is my backup dancer for my, for my spieling. It makes it more exciting. It's a visual, a visual cue for you to take. Kilimanjaro Safari is a safari attraction. Uh, it basically, you go through Africa's amazing wildlife. You can see a bunch of different animals, creatures, uh, all the way from elephants to lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! No, you can't. You can't see tigers, tigers or, or bears. bears. Yeah, yeah, they, they, those those are not here. When this park first opened, they were trying to, you know, do some uh, light explaining of the the really bad things that can happen in Africa, and uh, it went so far as to well, there was a mom elephant and a baby elephant and little big red and little red, and and they and unfortunately the poachers took out 
Mama Red. There was, yeah, there was a happy medium where they stopped killing Mama Red, but you still had the poacher storyline. Yes. That was my jam. Oh, me too. My favorite part was when the bridge went out. Yes. I love the bridge. I was went actually out. traumatized by that for years. The bridge, the bridge over the alligators used to shake and then uh, almost like fall and break. So the line for Kilimanjaro safaris this morning was posted right when we entered at 55 minutes. We've already gone through the extended portion of the queue and are now in the main portion of the queue. It's only been 10 minutes, so I don't think we'll wait 55 minutes here. Remember that right when rides open, cast members do tend to use predictive wait times, um, which they make their best guess to try to figure out how long the wait will be so that people don't get disappointed when they get in line and it's a lot longer. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I want to hug it. I don't think that was 55 minutes, folks. No, not, not, even, not even for a second. No, it, it was more like 15. Hi, friends. How many? Sometimes on the right, watch your hands on feet and legs. Do a slide push. I've learned Quincy knows more about the Kilimanjaro safari than the safari guides do. I love Kilimanjaro safari. <laughs> Every time I'm here in Animal Kingdom for work or for fun, if Kilimanjaro safaris has below a 30 minute wait or below, I'll ride it. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I I'm learning all the facts. Oh yeah. But I, I still learn new ones every time. Yeah. Yeah, she was a good tour guide. She, she really was great. Her. She had a lot of cool she facts. She was great. Um, but I was shocked because uh, typically the animals are more active in the morning. They weren't super active They weren't today. super active. So it'll be interesting to see if they're more active later. Maybe we'll try to ride this again. I think we should because we did. We because, because we rope dropped this. So we, we rope dropped this. We didn't use Genie Plus. And now we still have our Genie Plus. And now we still have Genie Plus. So, I mean. I just want to ride it twice. <laughs> I mean, not even for reason. For also, I definitely recommend if you're, uh, if maybe if you have, if you have kids or who definitely want to see uh, more of the animal activity, the left side is where it's at. All of the habitats really uh, are heavily on the left side. Every once in a while, you, you might get something on the right side, but the the animals would have to travel from the left side <laughs> to the right side in order to be there. Yeah, that's a good tip. The left side is definitely better. Yeah. What if we do Gorilla Falls and see if the animals are more active on the trail? All right. We're, okay. I mean, we're here. I mean. All right, yeah, well, the shows don't start for another 30 okay, minutes, all right. so. I want to see a gorilla. Okay. I hope we don't see any of the gorillas fall. That, <laughs> no, Qu Quincy, it's, it's, uh, it's gorilla falls, like, as, as, in a wa as in waterfalls. I don't think I've seen a single waterfall on this trail. I... <laughs> I think it's about the Gorilla Falling. Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail is a walkthrough attraction here in Animal Kingdom at the end of uh, Kilimanjaro Safaris. There's lots of monkeys, gorillas, birds, fun things you can see. It's really beautiful. It's about a 15 minute walk, depending on how fast you go. But I think it's really fun and it's overlooked, but this is the best view of gorillas you can get in the whole park. Oh, now we're going into uh, Emma's favorite rooms. You guys are going in. Emma's going in. I'm headed straight out the other side. Yep, you're going in and we're going to look at the thing. Bugs. Absolutely not. I have food. I can't go. <laughs> That's not... It's, it's, it's in yep. your bag. It's Come on. No. It's a plastic. It's a crustable. It's a crustable. <laughs> There's nothing The bugs wrong. don't want your uncrustable, Emma. I, I want uncrustable. my uncrustable. <laughs> Emma. Emma. Experience wildlife. Emma. Oh, she's fled. She fled. She fled. <laughs> All right. Nick and Mole Red, Nick and Mole Red. Or that from Kim Possible? Yeah. Did you ever play the Kim Possible game on the computer where you ran a nacho shop as Rufus the Nick and Mole Red? I sure did. <laughs> did you ever play the uh, World Showcase Kim Possible game? Oh, yeah. yeah. I was Kim Possible for Halloween in college. That's, that's too much. The easiest way to tell if a snake is venomous is one by the shape of their heads. This guy has a more narrow head. If they're venomous, they have, they'll have they have very oh, wide glands on the side of their mouth uh, where the yes. venom sits, which is the sense. biggest way to tell. Um, obviously, anything with a rattle is venomous. Well, right. Um, and then you can usually tell in the patterns on their bodies. Venomous snakes will usually have sharper shapes on their bodies and brighter colors. Mm. Although bright colors doesn't always mean venomous. Like those little green garden snakes are pretty bright and they are not venomous. Venomous. Venom I said venomous. <laughs> 
I can't say venom venomous venomous also in Gorilla Falls uh, there is a really cool like aviary section where you can just like walk in you can see the net above us so the birds can't you know fly away that would be sad there are all the nests above you can see all the birds just kind of freely fly around here build nests make more birds I'm having the best day ever and it's barely started <laughs> Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. It's great. I think I think one of the coolest part about Gorilla Falls, but also it's the stinkiest part of Gorilla Falls. I don't think about it much. I know. Yeah. They're cleaning them up. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. That's the natural reflex. While he's still asleep. He just took a breath. Goes back down to sleep. That's a natural reflex of he's sleeping. I know. You know the hippos are one of the most deadly animals on earth? Yeah, they've got some crazy uh, jaws. Yeah. Have you ever seen him crush a watermelon? It's yeah. terrifying. Have you ever seen me crush a watermelon? No. no. With my thighs? No. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. Okay, so I specifically wore a Timon shirt today. Where are the meerkats? Where are the meerkats? The meerkats, uh, you can find meerkats here. Uh, by the way, Timon's a meerkat, in case you didn't know. Here at Gorilla Falls is where you can find the meerkats. It's also potential that they're still sleeping. Um, it also, probably what they're doing right now is cuddle puddling. Cuddle puddling? That's what they do. They cuddle puddle. Wait, cuddle pu uh, oh, puddling, not puddling. No, puddling. Pu oh, so they cuddle, cuddle on, in, a, in, a, in a puddle. Yeah, they cuddle in a puddle. Oh, scurry. Sniff. Flinch! So, I want to be very clear. As we've been... You know, going through Gorilla Falls, we've all just been singing Tarzan, Tarzan classic, you know, classic Animal Kingdom tunes. We were singing Lion King earlier, and mm -hmm. you know, just, just that's part of the best day ever. Part of the best day ever. Soundtrack. Making your own soundtrack, but I just, I just want you to you know realize how like, you know important that musical ability is <laughs> as as we start you know venturing over to see some live shows. Oh, gotcha. mm -hmm. see, oh, that's just I as, see what, I oh see look. What what? That's insane. You see this? What? There's one, way There's one all the way up in the tree. How? How did it get all the way up there? That is a full on uh, tree exercise. That's like Mulan climbing up the post situation. Oh, that's insane. I've never seen that before. Me neither. That's so wild. What are you guys doing? How. I just wanted to see. Wow, my, I, my hand is as big as. I Are can. you a six year old male? <laughs> <laughs> Mentally. <laughs> you know what they say about uh, best days ever? What? Sometimes you see a gorilla in a tree on the best day ever. I've heard that. Mo most of my best days have been with gorillas in trees. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Sometimes it just happens. So we'll talk a little bit more about Genie Plus in a minute, but we do have Genie Plus today. It says you skip the line offering. And we um, were able to book one of the lightning lanes. I booked the most high demand one in the park, which is Navi River Journey at 7 a.m. this morning. You can't book another until you either use that lightning lane or after a two hour cool down once the park opens. So since that lightning lane is until 12.15 today, it's 10 now, the park's been open for two hours, so I can actually book another and, and stack a couple. So let's see what I'm gonna get. I actually don't really know what I'm gonna I was gonna say, well, your, your ride's today, so what, what are you? Uh... I know, what's, what do we wanna do? What do we wanna do? I think I might. Oh, good. I am trying to book a flight. I just got excited. Do you know what I don't think is part of our best day ever? What? You guys can detail me on this. Cali River Rapids. Thank you. No, I wasn't. I was not going to go with that. You guys can detail me on this. Cali River Rapids. Do you want to ride it? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm cool, uh, especially because... I mean, I feel like we all look pretty good in our outfits yeah. today, and I don't want to mess that up. Climb up a hill, deforestation. Go down a hill, get off the ride. That's it. That's yeah. the whole ride. That is we the basically ride. just rode it. Yep, that was dry. it. You're yeah. welcome. What'd you choose? Um, I chose Expedition Everest. Smart choice. Because it, it's all the way out to 105, and we're not doing it as the Genie Challenge today. We're not trying to get all of the lightning lanes. No. Nope. We're just trying to get the best ones, the smartest Me. ones. And um, I, I don't mind triggering that two hour cool down when it means that we get to do other fun stuff in the meantime. So Agreed. it means I just don't have to look at my phone as much. So that's the Genie Plus method today, friends. Great. Nice. On our way to It's Tough to Be a Bug. All right, on our way. I don't know. I think we should get breakfast. I'm what? Starving. 
All right. You can have corn for breakfast. Yes. If you want. Nice. It's the best day ever. No, corn sounds amazing, actually. <laughs> breakfast corn. The next part of our best day ever plan is breakfast. Uh, and I'm not a huge breakfast person, so we decided to split up just a tad. Uh, and I'm actually gonna get Emma something as well, but I like a nice breakfast beverage. Now as the day gets started, the wait times will start to be a little more accurate. Now Kilimanjaro Safaris is posted at a 110 minute wait. We're all the way at the Tusker House restaurant, and this is where the Kilimanjaro Safari line starts. That is, that's bonkers, right? That is crazy, right? Anyway, we're gonna come here to the Dawa Bar here in Africa. That's my favorite part about you know, having three people do best day ever because everyone's best day ever is going to be just a little bit different. Weirdly enough for breakfast, we are going to Harambe Fruit Market. Um, this is a location of one of my favorite snacks in Animal Kingdom, the corn on the cob. It is a seasoned corn cob and typically I would not eat this for breakfast, but it's already 10 a.m. It's basically snack time. And it's my best day ever too. And it's my best day ever too. So while Quincy and Emma, I believe, go get some corn for breakfast, <laughs> which is a choice. I'm going to grab a breakfast cocktail, like a mimosa, like it's a brunch. I mean, we can, you got Disney World. YOLO, baby. YOLO. When you have a group of people and everybody has different priorities, sometimes it is best to split up if you have two adults and the ability to do so. You're not always going to be able to make everybody happy. It's a harsh reality, especially with larger groups. Um, so we've actually already split up. Sage wanted to start his day right with a cocktail from Dawa Bar. It is Animal Kingdom. It's a great park to have a nice beverage in um, when we are getting our corn and that's no big deal. We can meet back up. Now that said, we did come to the park together to do the parks together as you likely did with your family. So we're gonna be trying to stick together as much as possible while still accomplishing what everybody wants to do in the day. Breakfast drinks officially acquired for my best day ever. Best, best day, cheers. It's corn. It has the juice. That's a, that corn song, is, it's, it's never it's gonna so get old. old. It is old already. But not to my heart. But not to so this I love corn him. Cup. I'm really hard to do. This is an awesome grilled corn cob. They grill it right out, like literally in the. You can see them, you can grilling, see them grilling it. it. It smells amazing while they're grilling it, even if you're not getting it. They cover it in butter and different like African spices. So good. It's really garlic salt, but you know. So good. It's so good. You can get it without the without the butter and or the garlic salt if you want it, but that's what makes recommend. it delicious. Yeah. This is what makes it special. Yeah. Emma has come back with her corn. Is there corn on my team? No, you're good. But here is your uh, Nagumu jungle juice, which is uh, it's, it's vodka, uh, peach snops, and Tusker's famous jungle juice. Yes. Jungle juice, if you don't know, is kind of like cob juice. So, uh, passion fruit, orange juice, and guava. This is my favorite breakfast I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I actually got the Lost on Safari, which is African rum and uh, Captain Morgan a spice rum with their Pangoni Punch. It's the best day ever. It is the best day ever. Cheers. Good morning. <laughs> Okay, hold on. The drum, the drummer, the, the drummers are out. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh yes. From time to time, different acts will show up on this stage right here in the middle of Africa. shows. There's also a lot of great stream of entertainment. Uh, like the drummers this stage just abandoned us to go see. We have corn, so we're good. Best day ever. I'm bringing the party to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I will say it is important to note that a lot of the special, most, if not all, of the specialty cocktails are actually pre-mixed. They're not made on, like, 
bartenders not there making them on site, pouring them out of the, one of the, like those little spinning machines over there. So they are pre-mixed. So uh, Emma and Quincy think they're stronger than you would think, but I, I tend to disagree. You know, it's I guess it's up to your own discretion and tolerance there. One time I watched a man upturn four bottles of liquor into the tank with his drink. It's funny to watch you eat corn and talk about the vodka. <laughs> now, Dawa Bar is right at the entrance of Africa. You can get specialty cocktails um, and uh, and your kind of whatever cocktails you actually want. They've got beer, they've got wine. There are not really any snack options here, but it is right next to Tusker House, so maybe it's a great way to uh, you know grab a quick cocktail right before you get into, go into your Tusker House reservation. Okay, so look, we. Um, I had a great morning so far. The best day ever. We, the best morning ever. Best morning, morning ever. Some might, some might say. But uh, we've, we've got our breakfast, uh, our, our drink, and, and snacks. Um, but we are in Africa, and it's 10:38. I'm feeling. If you look directly behind me, you find some. No, not not actually. Was the view good? <laughs> We don't have time to do the Lion King show, which we will. We'll come back to Africa. So I'm feeling just because I, you know, we've had a beverage. I feel like we should do like another like ride, right? Yeah. She's our monitor. She takes care of us. Mine's this our... is what Quincy looks like when she's concentrating. I love that look. Because it usually means something is coming. That was so ominous. <laughs> well. I think it's also important to point out that this is the, the, the this is the best day ever, but it's also on a on one of the busiest days. So we're trying to do the best days ever on a like, busy day. On a busy day. You can have a best day ever on any on any level of day. It's all about how you play it. Yeah. Correct. Um, I mean, we it was not a slow day for our best day ever. Not at all. And we were able to get through everything we wanted to do just with good strategy. So listen to us. We got your back. It's a busy day. Right now, the lines are pretty wild. Even for it's tough to be a bug and Triceratops get it's 30 minutes. Yeah. Here's my pitch. We take the train to Rafiki's Planet Watch, and we do the animation experience. There's one in uh, 30 minutes. I think that we can make it out there in time. Yeah. I love the animation experience. Do you? I do. Oh, good. I'm going to need another drink for that. Oh, you don't like so, it? Let's... Oh, you have, you have to oh, come. I want to I'm such time. a bad drawer. You're going to be great. Have you ever done it? Uh, no, because I avoided it. You're going to be so good. No, You're going to be so good. No, I need it. You're going to be so good. No, Okay, okay. All right, we are on our way to Rafiki's Planet Watch to, uh, well, be artists, <laughs> which I am so extraordinarily nervous about. I don't do that well. Uh, I mean, I'm an artist, but not an artiste. My, my drawing skills are not on point, so. Whoever has the best drawing wins. Oh, no, now it's a competition. It was supposed to be fun and chill. Okay, fine. Whoever has the worst drawing wins. <laughs> Everyone stop. What? what? To me, one of the best things about a best day ever is that you have to match with your friends. I thought you were leaving. <laughs> no, <laughs> no you, have leaving. To, was, was you have to stick around. I'll one stick of the around. best things about a best day ever is matching with your friends. Uh, so we did come yeah, we in did our absolute best Animal Kingdom outfit. Yes. I, I'm thinking runway photo, sh like, like, like run, oh, runway. Oh, yeah, that's in. my best day ever. I'm in. That's okay, my best here, day here, ever. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Was amazing. I think, oh yeah, this is how, Emma, this is how you won your uh, scavenger hunt. Can you believe I won? I can't. Yeah, let's go this way. I, I don't know if you guys know this about Quincy, but she likes the caboose. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite train song. <laughs> oh, the Wells Fargo, no, that's not it. Uh, I'm trying to think of a train song. <laughs> Welcome I think I'll let you take this one. <laughs> hey, anybody got a tra good, good train song? Hot, hot. We got it. Hot, hot. Ooh, we got it. Hot, hot. Oh, we got it. I once saw an elephant or natural give birth back here. Really? I think he's dead. No, but I did see a lonely cast member eating a sandwich. Oh, haven't we all? The miracles of nature. <laughs> All right, sketch time. Let's see if we can make it. 
There's a lot of really cool stuff in a conservation station um, that might surprise you. And I actually did an entire land tour just on this land a mile out from the park. And <laughs> Emma just tripped me. I'm so sorry. I actually did an entire land tour on this part of the park, so you can go check that out if you want to see all the things you might be missing if you skip a trip out here. All right, grab a pencil and paper. Oh, I'm gonna be so bad at this. Guys, I'm gonna be so bad at this. No, you're gonna be great. It's gonna be really good. Another than Shere Khan from Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We did it. Yeah, everybody sign your work. Sign your work. Oh, you already signed it. Beautiful. Thank you. I worked really hard on it. Show me, show me your Shere Khan. He's beautiful. Not bad. He's beautiful. Goodbye. is the best. Quincy's is so It's okay. So, weren't, weren't the rules whoever has the worst one wins? Yeah. Yeah. Who do you think? That's really good. No, Quincy didn't. She won. That's, best drawing. That's pretty, that's pretty good, too. No. Uh, I don't think, I think he, looks, he looks pretty good. No, I... He's dapper. You guys are way too nice to me. No, it's good. fine. I've never done it before. I don't mind being the worst one. Hey, Emma. I don't want to scare you, but Shere Khan is here. Oh my gosh. It's a man up. I'm so scared. I, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> we strolled right up to the to the train. That's best that's the best day ever. If I ever saw one. That is best day. I really enjoy the animation experience. It's also one of the only ways to get a free souvenir in Disney World. That's true. Who doesn't love that? And a personalized one at that because you made it. Um, I will say, do I consider it a must do must do? No. Part of the best day ever for me? Yeah, it is, because I, I want to get it done. It's maybe not my top priority, but I do want to come out here. Also, when the entire park is swamped and we're waiting on a Genie Plus Lightning Lane, we got to ride right out here, walk right into the animation experience as it was starting, no wait, and get to do something really cool with an actual artist guiding us. So it's a really awesome experience. I will say I definitely heard some kiddos in the crowd that were a little restless during, especially when they realized kind of the pace of the drawing. It's a more adult geared activity. They do have coloring pages though. So if your kid likes coloring and you like drawing, get in there. Well, that killed exactly the right amount of time for our first lightning lane. Oh, great. Nice. We're, uh, and, and our first lightning lane is in Pandora? In Pandora. We're headed to Navi River Journey. Nice. So, not too far of a walk. No. I really think we should make a stop at Nomad Lounge before. That's not even on the way. Well, you guys, that's a direct stop on the way. It, if, if, we were to, if we were to go the right way... That way. It would be a direct stop. A direct stop. But... Suspicious. Sure sign of a busy day is when you see a cart that usually sells just ice cream selling hot dogs and chips. Means they need to get more sustenance than all these people. Also, this pathway is kind of like a secret side pathway. And usually it's pretty empty, but it's slammed right now. For reference, we are filming the week of fall break. So, oh my gosh. Hi. Hi, Doug. Hi. Uh, the Flight of Passage line does end all the way out in the middle of Pandora, which I actually haven't seen happen since the um, a lot of social distancing was still in place. I mean, I'm sure it's happened a lot this week. It happened to me yesterday. <laughs> so it's definitely a busy, busy time right now. Um, we're getting into mid to late October, which is typically a busy time, so that's, it's a predictable thing because of fall break and then Halloween draws some crowds. Hey, Sage. Hey. If you were a creature in the Pandoran wildlife, what noise would you make? Oh. Hmm. All right, here it is, ready? Yep. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was, that it was. It fits right in. Right. With the ambiance. If I was a Pandoran creature, my noise would be, ah, ah. Okay. okay. Like a sheep? Oh. Like a sheep. I know, that's you, my best noise. You in full sheep? Yeah. All right. Pandora sheep? Uh, I was always told that when in Pandora, you never go full sheep. No. <laughs> oh, no. All right, we are here in Pandora where we're headed to Navi River Journey. Now, this is the first time today we've actually taken advantage of the fact that we have Disney Genie Plus. 
Genie Plus is Disney's skip the line offering and it does let you go to the front of lines, uh, wait much, much, much less. It can typically be anywhere between a walk-on to about like an eight minute wait for most things. Navi River Journey right now has a 105 minute wait with how busy it is today. Disney Genie is a relatively new service from October 2021 that has free Genie featuring a tip board with customizable interests. Genie Plus, which is like a paid version of Fast Pass Plus where you skip the line, um, which at base is $15 per person per day, but that has changed. And there are also individual lightning lanes where you can purchase skip the line access for some of the more popular rides that are not included with Genie Plus. The only ride in this park that does have an individual lightning lane purchase is Flight of Passage. We weren't able to get that this morning because it opens first to resort guests and then to non-resort guests. So we're gonna use a different strategy to ride Flight of Passage today. Do we recommend Genie Plus in this park? Oh. I personally don't. I recommend perhaps the individual lightning lane, but not necessarily Genie Plus as a whole. Yeah. Uh, on a normal day, like when it's not like this, I don't think I would. I think Epcot and, Epcot and Animal Kingdom, you can probably skip Genie Plus on. Uh, but I agree, you should definitely do that because uh, Avatar, uh, sorry, Flight of Passage, that is the one that I, you have to get something for. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah. Uh, but for everything else, when it's not a bonkers day like it is today, you can probably skip Genie Plus for this. Um, and you can see today, it's it's pretty busy. You can generally predict that with holiday times if, when you want to buy Genie Plus. You also do not have to buy Genie Plus like first thing in the morning. You can buy it anytime during the day. However, you're going to want to buy it as early as you can to maximize the service. The change to Genie that has come is that it now does have date-based pricing. The base price is $15 per person per day on less busy dates, but on busier days, it can go all the way up to maximum $22 on busier days. Today, Genie Plus was $20 per person with the crowds, which certainly can add up for a family. However, on these busier days, those are the days that it is going to be most worth it. Waiting 105 minutes for Navi River Journey is certainly not ideal. Uh, however, there aren't a ton of rides in Animal Kingdom, so if you do have fewer must-dos, you might want to consider skipping Genie Plus even if you're coming at a busier time of year. We're not going super in-depth on Genie Plus today. It is a very, very complicated service. It's important to do your research beforehand because if you're going to be making, especially a multi-person purchase, it can be a lot of money out of your pocket. You want to get the most out of it. We are using it to our biggest benefit for the best day ever, which means we're only going to be using it for the bigger rides here at Animal Kingdom so we can fill the rest of our time with smaller rides. You can maximize the service even more. You can get every ride in the park in one day if you play your cards right. We have tons of videos on the channel about Genie Plus and how to best use it. If you'd like to see an updated Genie Plus challenge where we compare wait times with and without Genie Plus in Animal Kingdom, let us know in the comments. Hey, not yes. gonna lie guys, yeah. the shaman freaks me out. Hey. I just wanted to be real honest about it. Sage is a fear of the shaman. Okay, I don't know if fear is the right word about the shaman. I don't fear the shaman. I'm, I'm just more like, she's just so large and she's so like well articulated that I'm like intimidating. She, I'm, 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 no, I would not. Thoughts about Navi River Journey? Beautiful, not worth the wait. I agree with both of those statements. A lot of people say like they like wish that there was some, some something in Pandora where you actually interact with the animals of Pandora since this is Animal Kingdom. I think that Navi River Journey is that. Like Navi River Journey is the equivalent of the nature trails in Africa and Asia is my take. Sure. Um, what would you be willing to wait for it? I would wait if I if I were traveling and it was like a vacation. I would wait thirty to forty five minutes for it. Fair. I'll give you that. Uh, and I have. So I my have so my 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 thoughts on your thoughts about equating this uh, equating Navi River Journey to a, 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 a like a nature trail. Yes, absolutely. That is the one place that you can see all like the natural like habitats yeah. of Pandora, but the difference is that you're still waiting in a, you never wait in line for no. a nature trail. True. So that's where, that's where the, I think, I, that's where the upsetting c yeah. in this comes in. I, I would not have done it without the uh, genie, with, without the lightning lane. No, a 105 minute wait? No way. No um, way. I would, I would, I would not. And we are on our way to the, uh, our next lightning lane selection, which is Everest, Expedition Everest. Escape from Forbidden Mountain, which is uh, Emma's favorite. Yeah, it's my, uh, that's hard to say. It's one of my favorites of all time. My number one thrill ride in Animal Kingdom, which is not Expedition Everest, is coming up. It's terrifying, so stay tuned. What's your, what's your number one thrill ride at, at, at Animal Kingdom? 
Like, I'm going to grill ride at Animal Kingdom? Yeah. Tell you River Rapids. Yeah. Ew, I'm you, kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. It's dinosaur, baby. Obviously. That was, that was the stay tuned that I gave them, but it is also mine. That was the fastest stay tuned ever. Expedition Everest. I've heard of her. Yeah, she's amazing. This is a high uh, thrill roller coaster attraction that uh, takes you into the Forbidden Mountain where you should be just, you know, gathering some, some tea on the tea train, but instead, an expedition company is. They, they, they've turned the whole thing into this crazy, like, get away from a Yeti situation. It's very jarring, and, and I, I don't know why the expedition company keeps trying to, you know, make us find a Yeti. Just just disturbing. Expedition Everest currently has a 70-minute wait, which is pretty high for this ride. It is extremely popular, but it's also extremely high capacity. There's a lot of people through. On a regular, like, standard busyness day, it's going to be typically around a 35-minute wait. Sometimes up to 45 in an hour, but I rarely see it at 70 just because of how high capacity it is. But another sign that it's a very busy best day ever, but a best day ever nonetheless, because we're about to go ride it with our lightning lane that we booked earlier. Lightning lane is still pretty, uh, pretty, pretty long wait for lightning lane. Also, after our next two hour cool down, I was able to book us Dinosaur, which is um, also at a pretty high weight today. I saw it at 55 minutes last time I looked, which is pretty high because Dinosaur does typically stick around like 35, 40 minutes during the peak of a day. So, but I love Dinosaur. Are you sure it's not from your corn earlier? All you have is corn and peanut butter and jelly. I'm uncrustable. What a weird Elevated. All you've had is a cocktail. You're welcome. <laughs> I think uh, perhaps we get snacks after this. No? Another little mini meal? Yeah, uh, a, mi a mini meal. A mini meal. I'll take it. A mini meal. It depends where we're getting it, though. Um, there's a couple. We did walk past uh, Yak and Yeti Local Foods Cafe, which smelled amazing. Yes. Um, we're not too far from Mr. Kamal's, which is, of course, amazing. This is giving me like a normal snack. This is the best day ever. Be the best snack ever. That's true. So, um, all right, we gotta think about this. Me too. I mean, I, I, I have mine. We already had corn. Mine is Mr. Kamal's. Best snack ever. Listen, nothing's stopping us from getting all the snacks we want. That's the best snack ever. <laughs> best snack ever is all the snacks. All of the above. All right. Luckily, with that lightning lane, our seven. The, the Yeti. I don't, I really thought that was supposed to be like a chill hike train ride. No. Yeah, you know, I think that every time. There was, a, every yet, time. There was a Yeti in the mountain. I will say, this is the first time I've ever been in the back row. It was intense. Wow. It was re, like, it was, you, you're, you're shaking around. My oh. ear, I don't know if this happened, you guys, my ears were like rattling. Oh, oh no. Like, okay, am I okay? No, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
If your ears rattle, seek medical attention. That's what I'm having to do. Bye, guys. Oh, best day ever. Best day ever. <laughs> no, what, what I will say, though, is that... Uh, the only thing I did not like about the back row is that when you so you go backwards and you go into the cave where you first see the shadow of the Yeti, you can't see the Yeti. Cut off. He's cut off. Also, you're in pitch black. You, like I just feel like there was gonna be like a second Yeti that came out around me. I was like, no. There was. You didn't see him. I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what I think is next in our best day ever. Tell me. We haven't eaten enough. Ha ha. Please tell me yes. snacks are in my future. Snacks are in all of our futures and. I think that we go with the plan and we split up and each grab a snack of choice. Oh. And then come back together and feast. No. Oh. Like that is my best day. Done. I've chosen to go to Mr. Kamal's. And you guys are going where? We're going to Yak and Yeti Local Foods Cafe. Am I gonna regret that? No. Am I Mr. Gonna... Kamal's is almost the number one choice. It is, but it I is my number today. one choice, but I'm only not going because I intend to eat many of your fries. Agreed. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait. Okay, hold on. But, but that, that smells so good, though. No, no, no. Just, uh, but we need your fries. We need your fries. Okay, then I get to eat what's... Fine deal. We'll consider it. We'll all share. We'll consider it. I will say, um, I actually really love Yak and Yeti Local Foods Cafe. It's kind of similar to, like, takeout um, that you can get in your town. So if you want something a little more unique, I highly recommend the Tuli Canteen over in Pandora. It's my favorite quick service in all of Disney World. But, like, we're just not heading there today because we've gotten it in a lot of videos lately, but we absolutely could as part of our best day ever. The thing is, there's lots of options for your best day ever, and you should go where your heart decides. Especially here in Asia, where because there, there's a lot of fun uh, fun choices here yep. in Asia. We just finished Expedition, Expedition Everest. We're trying not to crisscross the park. We're trying not to do that as many, but it is a busy day, so you have to do it. Yeah, uh, we've when done it's a, busy it a bit. Day. We will do it a bit more. Um, it's just how it is sometimes, but you can limit it. Now we are doing a snackier day for most of our day. There are certainly some amazing sit-down restaurants here in Animal Kingdom, like Tusker House, which is a character meal, or Tiffin's if you want something a little fancier. Of course, sit-down meals do take a lot of time out of your day, but if that's part of your perfect day, more power to you. Um, we also highly recommend, especially if you do not have a reservation for somewhere, eating at off-peak meal times. That's what we're doing. And you'll see that there's still a little bit of a line here for local food cafes today, but we've even seen it busier since this morning, and that's because we're eating a little past when most people want to eat lunch. Eat a later breakfast, later lunch, and a later dinner, or an earlier breakfast, earlier lunch, and earlier dinner, and you'll be set up for success in avoiding crowds when you get to your meal time. Now, I don't ever really get a chance to do a bunch of snacking, like going to Mr. Kamal's and, you know, getting some tasty fries and all that jazz, but uh, usually because when we're here at the parks, we're kind of go, 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 doing all the things, doing all the research. For all ears, uh, but today on a best day ever is awesome. We we finally get to you know take a little bit of a breather and eat some snacks, which I'm I, I will not say no to some good fries. So let's go. It's also a. Um nice sit-down restaurant just next door uh, but they do have this local foods cafe where you can snag some classics like chicken tenders and things like that but also um, some more Asian inspired although very Americanized eats like the honey sesame chicken that Emma and I got. All right Mr. Kamal's fries officially acquired. Got my sauces here. It's gonna be great. Can't wait. Let's go. I didn't get any cutlery. Me neither. It's bold of you to assume that I ever remember cutlery. I don't <laughs> ever. <laughs> I've never in my life remembered color. That's fair. And I respect that. And I, I love you. I'll You've go never get it done though. anything wrong, and I love you for it. I'll, I'll go get it. You try these for the first time. Oh. There you go. And try them with each sauce separately, and then the sauces together. Great. What? Okay. Because yes. I never get snack a lot. Uh, I've never had Mr. Kamal's fries, so this is going to be first time review for me. Uh, we've got we got the, we've got the fry. Uh, we've got the seasoning on it, which is like. Um, it's just, it's they like just a, call it a seasoning. Yeah, they don't, really they don't ever tell you what it, what exactly it is, but it is like a, a red seasoning. I imagine it's like a little bit of like a chili powder almost. Something perhaps. something like that, perhaps. I don't know. It doesn't actually say what the seasoning is. The red seasoning on there, you can't see it. All right, so we're going to try one of the sauces that they give you, which is the uh, Korean chili ketchup. So. Oh, it's sweet. It has the juice. Sweet, that's like kind of like tang after that. There, there is some Asian inspired sauces, I guess. So that that makes I mean I like like seasoning in there. It's really interesting. I don't even know what to 
Try the honey mustard. Oh, so, the, so then this other sauce. Hold on. All right. Hold on. Because I've been, I've been told to try both of them separately and then together. This one is what now, Emma? The curried honey mustard. The curried honey mustard, which honey mustard is like my favorite. So curried honey mustard. Oh, that one's really good. It was super curry heavy. What's the journey you've been on so far? I've done them separately. I've done them both. Oh, great. Back to time. All right. Now, them both. Oh, that's the way to do it. It has the juice. Because you get the spiciness of the chili and the sweetness of the uh, of the honey mustard uh, with both the Asian and, uh, spices within the sauces. So good. I'm going to crave that. That's Yeah, you're going to crave it. That's, it really, un that's uh -huh. really unfortunate. Anything's a snack if you decide it is. So Emma and I each got meals. <laughs> it's a snack. This is a snack. It is a snack. It is a snack. It's a snack. <laughs> Maybe Sage is the only one who understood the assignment. Well, my no. well, my snack was almost another cocktail. So. Oh, well, actually, then you did you did well. <laughs> we upgraded our snacks to meals, and you upgraded your cocktail to actual food. Yeah. Yeah. So we're all gonna share. So then it is a snack. And it is a snack. So we got the honey sesame chicken, which is this beautiful fried honey sesame chicken with the sauce and the sesame seeds on it. There are some vegetables in there. It comes with white rice. I grabbed us some duck sauce and sriracha and soy sauce, and I'm excited. It smells amazing. It smelled so good. That's what made us change course from just getting French fries. It is. So it is what made us change course. I took my bite. Oh, that was fast. Sorry. <laughs> the rice is actually pretty good. Theme park rice. My favorite thing at Yakiniri Local Foods Cafe is the fried rice. Mm. So it's so good. I really, really enjoy this. And I absolutely like chose it today over Satuli Canteen, and I think that was the right move for our best day ever today. Um, it's not the most exciting. It is like something you can get at most like Chinese takeout places. However, there's actually not great Chinese takeout in Florida. I don't no. know if that's... This is, it's a little Panda Express-ish. It's better than Panda Express. Yeah, I, I'm pleased with that. I eat a lot of the Panda Express. And you honey, haven't been to the right Panda. places. Apparently not. That's you need. Do you true. know where good Chinese Stick food is? Stick with me, kid. Um, I literally ate a no video way. one time. Seriously? Pro I prompted the audience to tell me where I could find good Chinese food. Oh, I, it's great Chinese food, especially when a garden. Sorry, this is all, completely so, off topic. Uh, yeah, to sorry, it. you guys. And I think it's a great, it's a perfect portion, honestly. Especially if you're gonna do a heavier dinner. It's not like a huge portion. I think no. we're gonna have enough to share this between the three of us with the fries pretty well. Um, and then eating this on my own, I don't think it would like fill me up uncomfortably, but it would definitely give me sustenance to be able to cry during the Finding Nemo show. I, I yes. want you to remember that, what you just said. Because that looks, the chicken and the, and the sugariness and the- You think I'm gonna be full? I think it's gonna fill you up. I think the rice might catch us off guard. Correct. Listen, but we'll see how we feel. We're in Disney World. I have an infinite stomach here. Yeah. As, as she eats the vegetable that's on the plate and not the chicken or rice. Can you mind your business? It's a vegetable. <laughs> also, I'll note that Yaki Neti Local Foods does have a ton of covered seating out back. Covered is in shade, not necessarily covered as in will protect you from rain. Um, it was all full today with how busy it is, but we walked just across the pathway to behind uh, the place where you can get the frozen Cokes and walla. drink walla. walla and we ended up with a lot of seating finally it's my time i am so excited about this finding nemo the musical finding Nemo the musical is a retelling of sorts of finding nemo uh the the movie uh it, but it is a little bit different it is updated originally before the pandemic it was about a 35 to 40 minute show now they've scaled it back to a 25 minute show now it's under the timeline of finding dory and the tank gang we're talking about gill and the starfish and deb they're all basically uh recounting what happened to marlin and dory and nemo in a fun 25 minute musical it's all the same songs from the original show you know like uh, just keep swimming in the big blue world go with the flow uh, uh, but now it is just a little more concise, which is maybe perfect for people who uh, want to see live entertainment but don't want to sit in a theater for a full hour. I just love this theater, Theater in the Wild. I'm obsessed with it. It used to be an outdoor theater. Yeah. Like they used to do Jungle Book. Uh, they did, like when the park first opened, it was Jungle Book. Tarzan right? Rocks. And then Tarzan Rocks, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and, then, and, then, and then they enclosed it after Tarzan Rocks and became Finding Nemo the Musical. I love it so much. Let's go. Okay, so we just got out of Finding Nemo the Musical. Obviously, I loved it. Um, but I want, before I bring in Emma and, and Quincy, don't let them fool you. 
both of them cried. They they cried, and where where else can you where else can you feel real emotion? You're not gonna feel real emotion like like that on on Expedition Everest. That is that is real emotion you're feeling. Hey, why are you guys uh, wearing sunglasses? Hey, would you mind your business? <laughs> I'm not wearing any sunglasses. This is just yeah, my face. That's what she looks like. Tell me your thoughts and feelings, finding Nemo the musical. I feel cleansed and physically lighter. <laughs> My feelings are that I was crying and I was like, ha ha, Emma Sage, look, I'm crying. And then moments later, I had stopped crying and I turned and Emma was like, I'm crying. It was just, I don't know, something about his dad. And you just love my family and their family. And it's the, the part, especially specifically at the very end, when, when Nemo goes, uh, bye dad. And Marlon looks out and goes, Bye, son. Oh, and I was it's like, so good. No, I have chills on my arms. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of shows and live entertainment, because it's part one of the hottest parts of the day, we figured we'd loop all of our inside shows uh, into one kind of one kind of time. So we're gonna go see Festival of the Lion King. Now it's not a retelling of uh, it's not really a retelling of like the Lion King movie. It's more of a celebration of the music and the culture. I love it. Quincy doesn't love it. I, I like it just fine. We're getting in line right now. It's 3.29, 30 minutes prior to the start of the show. Well, 31 minutes. And um, we, we will get in from this point. Once it starts lining up kind of along the pathway out here, it's not guaranteed that you'll get in. Cast members will let you know that. So just a heads up, 30 minutes in advance. Minimum is pretty much what we recommend. Especially if it's a, really, if it's a busy day at the park. If you were going to sing a song on The Lion King and like represent your whole vibe and energy, what would it be? Oh my god, would it be from The Lion King too? Yes! Yeah. Well, the first thing that popped in my head was that song when Kobu gets picked out and they're like, Disset! Disset! Yes! So that's not really it. Alright, fine, just tell me your favorite song then. I just can't wait to be king. Uh, he lives in you. Be prepared. Let's go, baby. Be prepared. We finally made it in. I'm so excited! I'm excited! I think we're in the elephant section. I think you're right. Because yeah, that's the warthog section. That's giraffe. And that is... Are you guys just feeling this as solely on vibes? Or... <laughs> no, I'm feeling it from my heart. Yeah. No, I'm feeling it from re loving this show and remembering. Maybe the best part of... get into it sometime. Yeah, yeah, maybe. The best part about this show, though, honestly, is the last, like, seven no, minutes. No, I was going to say that. Big finale. Is the Mega Mix? Yes. I can agree with that. So that should be the whole Get show. your cameras out, because I'm about to get up and, and go and go bananas. I'm ready. Uh-huh. I'm serious. <laughs> in the circle. Oh, see, oh, see Emma's in. No, Emma's in. You know what? You, you, you should probably switch right. places with Emma, because <laughs> we're, we're about to go crazy. Or this is Night of the Roxbury. You're I know we love this show. I, Gosh, I just feel like it's go. a little I love it. I think it's amazing. I absolutely loved it with the tamalogies. I love just like you said the variety with the fire spinning and the tamalogies and the aerial acts and the amazing vocalists. It's a great show. I do get a little uh, bored during it. Everybody's entitled to their opinions yeah. and I respect it. I am so happy that I got to got to go to it today with you guys that came here to do all of our best days ever. It's such a good show. If you're even a little bit of a Lion King fan, definitely check it out. It's just all your favorite classics and it makes you feel good. The thing that's really cool about specifically the ending and it made Emma emotional apparently yeah. is that everyone in the same building is all they're all feeling the same thing it's a collective joy when, when they're all like the, they're it's the, it's the mega mix at the end they're all they're like everyone is singing like a clip of the song they just sang and it's everybody's going crazy and then, then they do the mashup at the end I mean everyone is feeling the same thing it's it's joy it, they're they're up on their feet they're going crazy and it is a really really cool feeling so if nothing else go for the collective joy because it's super cool and it's worth it and what a cool 
If you have like, never done it before, you 100% need to do it. You will love it. I love it. We have another lightning lane that Quincy managed to snag for us over at Dino Land for Dinosaur. Of course, we have been kind of going back and forth a little bit today, and although I wouldn't necessarily recommend that, sometimes when the park is busier, that's just what it takes to get your perfect day. Part of our best day ever, like, we really, if you want to have a good day at Animal Part Kingdom. of any best day ever that involves a group that has an adult in it. Yes, correct, is visiting Nomad Lounge. Nomad Lounge. All day Nomad Lounge, the walk-up wait list, which is a virtual wait list that you can join from anywhere in the park, um, has been completely at capacity, unjoinable. You can still get on that when it's like that. Just keep trying, keep refreshing because they see people all the time. A spot will open up and you can be the one to grab it if you keep trying. I usually do that in lines. That's what I was about to start doing because we're headed to our last lightning lane of the day. Um, but there's a 20 minute estimated wait. So I'm like not even gonna get it yet because I don't want to see a call while we're on dinosaur. Yet. I know, get it, get it, get it, yeah. Dance it out. Move those arms. Move those arms. Oh, yeah. Now she's a chicken. Look at those. Oh, now it's a wave. It's a chicken wave. Chicken wave. Yeah, chicken wave. Chicken wave. Yeah, chicken wave. Chicken wave. Mouse ears on and mouse chicken wave. Mouse chicken wave. Ah, mouse chicken wave. Mouse chicken wave. Ah. Oh. It's fast. It's a blast and it's Quincy. All right. Up next is Dinosaur, which for me, when I was a teenager, was my favorite ride in all of Disney World for many years. Um, it is a trip. There's a Carnotaurus. Oh my god. <laughs> Dinosaur is a very thrilling ride. It is a dark ride, and I mean that darker than any other dark ride. It's very dark. Ride. It's um, very dark, a lot of very jostling movements, um, and the situation that you're in is scary. You're sent back in time. You end up in the time of the dinosaurs, but through a series of happenstances, dark places and scary dinosaurs. But the love, please read the warning. <laughs> read the warning. Read the warning. Yeah. If, 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 if nothing else, read the warning for Dinosaur at Animal Kingdom. Yes, this one This one is an intense ride. That's why it was my favorite when I was a teenager because teenagers love thrill. So we were talking yesterday and we were like, okay, we're gonna ride Dinosaur. And someone called me the doctor seeker of all ears. Yes. Which would make Quincy Felicia Rashad, which would make you the, the iguana dog. Oh, <laughs> right I'm trying to rescue. Well, I'm not. I'm like even back there. No, the in the I won't leave you behind, Emma. Thank you, are, you, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Always. I'm not ready. What do you mean? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Were you just this ride? You're right. <laughs> I did. I, as Dr. Seeker, I, I will handle this. Chose the I, I chose the course. You're just going to the early rotation period, right? Maybe. Maybe. It's a really nice, safe early rotation This is going to be super safe. You asked so many questions. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> okay, now, let's go get that dino. <laughs> I kept both of you alive. I love this ride so much. I love it. It's so good. This ride, super scary. I always am like, oh, you know, fun. Dinosaurs moving fast. It's dark, but then it gets really dark and really loud. Yeah, and there's yeah, yeah. like a lot of like, there's a lot going on around you and there's scary dinosaurs yep. and meteors falling from the sky. Tower of Terror doesn't scare me. Like I don't get like that scared. Oh. Emma gets scared I'm by Dumbo. So she's Whoa. definitely- like, Those are like fighting words. It's true. No, she's kind of right though. <laughs> but I don't get scared of this one. I don't know what's going on with me. I mean, there are moments when you are in genuinely just the pitch, just pitch black. Which is why it scares me. I'm scared of the dark. For, for me, it's the sounds because it, it, literally they're so loud and so terrifying. Yeah. Especially uh, the uh, the Carnotaurus that, that where you take your picture at. Yeah. It is so loud. It's then so you go loud. to the one that comes out above no, you and the, the the, the, there's the air release. And oh, like, yeah. Duh, 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 duh. And the, you see the meteor going down. It's, it's, it's a scary ride. Now, I will say, we love it. A lot of people do not. A lot of people Majority, do not like it. Maybe. I don't think it is for younger ones. Many of my friends, adult friends, will not ride this with me because they just don't like getting shaken in the dark and they think it's an unpleasant ride, whereas I like the thrill of it. So it's really 
controversial, kind of, but I don't know. If they do replace Dinoland, I really hope at least the ride system stays. I hope Dinosaur Institute sticks around. Yeah. I'm not holding out hope, but we'll see what happens. Oh, I just no, want the ride system. They can do whatever they want with it, as long as it's dark and scary. Well, the ladies went to the bathroom, so uh, that gives me some time to go to the Boneyard Fossil Fun site. Just after seeing Fast for the Lion King, I can pretend I'm Scar in the, in the Elephant Boneyard for a little bit. Of the elephant graveyard. I know it's not really an elephant graveyard, but it kind of reminds me of something like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Ah, uh, yeah. I know this is for kids of all ages. You can't tell me what to do. All right, through the kit, through the kit. Oh, through the kit, through the kit. I'm surrounded by idiots. What would that make you? A monkey's uncle. Yeah, there's no, there's no such thing as the best day ever without taking pictures to commemorate it. Where did you come from? Uh, just, you know. <laughs> Why not? You can't have the best day ever without commemorating it with some photos. We've arrived here at Nomad Lounge. So this is the lounge that's attached to Tiffin's, which is the signature dining restaurant here in Animal Kingdom. The wait was only 20 minutes. You can see that they have a lot of beautiful craft cocktails. They have some amazing food specials. They have some standard food items on the menu. I always hear about Nomad Lounge that it feels like you are not sitting in a theme park. It feels like a true luxury experience. And I did not believe it before I came here. And now there's nothing I believe more. Nomad Lounge feels like you are really in like an actual luxury space, having a very nice experience, maybe even traveling, so. Look at this seat that we have and tell me this isn't the best day ever. This is what I call a best day. You guys? Me as well. You guys want to cuddle? <laughs> yeah. Cut the cameras. I went with the tuna poke, which is actually my favorite thing to order here, but I don't believe I've ever gotten it on camera. It is, um, of course, the tuna poke on top with steamed rice, edamame, pickled radish, and a chili sesame glaze. It's really amazing, and this is one of the spiciest uh, foods that I have found in Disney World. And I got the birria tacos. It is also part of the Hispanic Heritage Month specials. For the birria tacos, there's braised veal, cheese, lime tahini, and consomme. Looks delicious. I'm very excited. So I got the Cuban Frida sliders, the beef and pork patties, crispy shoestring potatoes, and yuca fries. Uh, drinks wise, I did something a little different and I actually just got a standard martini here. Typically I get specialty cocktails at Disney bars, but I'm curious because Nomad Lounge is more elevated how their standard cocktails are. Uh, sage followed suit with a Manhattan. I love a good Manhattan. If anybody knows me, I'm a Manhattan connoisseur. So uh, this will determine how the rest of the evening goes, if this is good or not. <laughs> I am younger, so I did not get any of the nice fancy. Younger? What does that have to do with it? It means you have more refined taste than oh, me. I didn't okay. know how to say I like sweet things, but I do like sweet things. So I got the High Tower Rocks. It is on the uh, cocktail menu here. I'm very excited. This is something I get every time I'm here. It's tequila, watermelon, sweet and sour, and lime juice. And that's just perfect for me. We get to spend some time here in Nomad Lounge, which I highly recommend, especially if you are have adults in your party who need a rest and you've been catering to the kiddos all day. Um, as long as you can get them to sit still and enjoy the lounge, I recommend it. You're going to want it at the end of a long Animal Kingdom day. So it's actually a gorgeous day to be outside here at Nomad Lounge. We have these almost, I want to call them day beds, but they're not. It is like a day bed. It's really, it's really it's nice. So nice. And uh, earlier on in the day, you can actually, the, the river, uh, whatever, the river's right out there, so you can actually see some of the water cavalcades go by. Cheers, yes, eye contact, eye contact, eye contact, yes, eye contact, yes, cheers. It is a martini. I got it with Tito's, which they have at most of the Disney, full, full Disney bars, you can get Tito's. Um, and there's a ton of great olive flavor in this. Very smooth to drink. Um, definitely kind of a, I can have one of these and I think I'll be pretty good for the rest of the evening. Whereas with a lot of the cocktails that are Disney mixed, that's not the case. But Nomad Lounge full bar will make you what you want. So it is a good Manhattan. I just got their house whiskey. It's got a touch too much sweet vermouth. So it's a tad bitter. 
which uh, uh, is, there's, there's got to be a fine like there's gonna be a fine blend between the bitter and the and the whiskey and the vermouth. But it's too much. It's a little too much vermouth, but that's that's okay. It is what it is. It's a very good Manhattan. Definitely, I would probably get it again. This drink is very sweet. It's one that I really like. I get it every time I'm here. It is really heavy in the watermelon base, but it's almost refreshing and not overly sweet. It's how sometimes like watermelon. Uh, flavoring can be too sweet and sugary. You can really tell that a lot of this is, uh, a lot of the flavor is coming from the slice of fresh watermelon in it. I really like it. If you like sweet things, this is a great option. The tuna is raw, but very high quality, so it melts in your mouth. The chili sesame glaze on this has serious heat to it. Like, first bite, I can handle it, and I like heat, but I usually have to take a break when I'm eating this because of how hot it gets. All the accompaniments in this bowl, the edamame and the like radishes and everything like that, just accentuate the flavors from the tuna, make everything come together really well. And I absolutely love the crunch from these stroppings. Whenever I'm here for fun, I get this. It's one of my favorite like lounge eats in Disney World. And it's a huge portion. This is a meal. Um, so highly recommend if you like tuna and if you like spicy, you have to like spicy. Oh. Oh, okay, I'm super jealous, honestly. That's really, really good. You can tell the veal has been braised really well, like melts in your mouth. The cheese is just good and flavorful. It's not necessarily the best birria I've ever had, but it's good birria. And then, you, like, I really love the char on the tortillas. It just adds more flavor to me. I am glad I added the lime just for a little bit of flavor, but absolutely wonderful. Good and savory, good seasoning, flavoring. It's not spicy at all. I have a feeling I know what this is going to taste like, but we'll see what happens. But because it's a slider and because it's at Nomad Lounge, it feels like an, it feels like an elevated bar food. Like kind of fries, the yucca fries, right? It's pork and beef sliders and there's like an interesting sauce in there. It is a really nice elevated bar food that, you know, to soak up this, um, you know, to soak up this beverage. This is why we. This is why we have the perfect day at Nomad Lounge. Yeah, yeah. It, because we went in there. The the sun was out. <laughs> we, and then we we had we had a, we had a beverage and a and and, a, and conversations and a meal and a meal and and it's and now it's nighttime now 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 we get to go see something really cool. We're here at the Tree of Life to see the Tree of Life Awakenings, which is a nighttime projection show on the tree. Um, it's also a beacon of magic, which is a sort of projection effect on the four park icons of the different parks. As you can see, it's a little crowded up here in front of the Tree of Life, but we strolled up and the awakenings and the beacons start in just under 10 minutes. What time is it? 10.35. In 10 minutes. So it's not too, too crazy. You certainly don't need to stake a spot out for this like you would for Magic Kingdom fireworks. You just said stake a spot out. Now I'm hungry again. We just ate. Well, listen. Can we go back to Nomad Lounge? Yes. No. Best no. day ever. Although. <laughs> Hear me out. Best day. Best day. We just saw the Tree of Life Awakenings. I really enjoyed that. That oh. was really beautiful. And the beacon. Oh my yeah. gosh. It is, that show, it is so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. It's like, it, it's the, the orchestral music and the, it's different than projecting on the castle because the castle for the most part is a bunch of like flat surfaces creating a spire. Yes. Like, the, the amount of uh, imagination and like to art. To go with the ridges of all the carvings on the tree. Oh, it's so pretty. Beautiful. I highly recommend if you have an evening in Animal Kingdom, which I know a lot of people pop out of Animal Kingdom. If you happen to be able to plan an evening in Animal Kingdom, the Tree of Life Awakening is beautiful. The begins happening again. It's a short show, which I liked. It was. I enjoyed yes. a short show too. Oh. Oh. Real quick, about perfect days here at Animal Kingdom. The thing that I'm noticing here of more than any other park on property is that Animal Kingdom seems to be the place with the most heart. Mm -hmm. Is that a that's a thing, right? Yeah. It seems to be the place with the most heart, with the most emotions from the animals and from the shows that you're seeing, and from like even just the the beacon was more of like let, let me pull your heartstrings a little bit, like make, like it was really really nice. Yeah. Now we go see Pandora at night. That has the most heart. So we are headed over here to do our final major attraction, part of any perfect day, which is Avatar Flight of Passage, easily the most popular attraction in the park. For much of today, it has been an over two hour wait. It is still, it's at a 140 minute wait. So we are going to have a line for it, um, wait it out just so that we get to ride it. 
The benefit of this is that even though it was a two hour wait all day, now we're not using valuable park time that we could be doing something else. As long as you get in the line by the last minute that the park is open, you're good to go. So that's the plan. The Pandora has two looks. You've got a daytime look and a nighttime look. The daytime look is very... I've got two looks. I've got two and looks that's and that's it. Uh, the daytime look is very, you know, still very uh, almost otherworldly rainforesty. And then uh, at night from the floor to the foliage, to the floating rocks, bioluminescent, just gorgeous. Now, this is a very crowded day here at Animal Kingdom, here in Disney World in general. Yep. Um, this strategy does work. Um, the lines are not the shortest that you'll see them all day. The shortest that you'll see them all day is at Rope Drop. Yep. Rope Drop Flight of Passage, even if you are not a resort guest, if you rope drop, you can get on the line the shortest. This morning it was 75 minutes. That was just not part of our perfect day. And because we have energy still, the, the benefit now is that we're not wasting any extra part time to get in line. It's a very crowded day. 140 minutes is very high for Flight of Passage to be yes. at the end of the day. Um, but this is an option for strategy. And on a crowded day with the day that we've had, I think it was part of our best day ever. I will say, I think the reason we had so much energy today is because we took that, how bugs, is because we took that midday break and we saw two great shows and then went to Absolutely. a Nomad and Lounge. now we can wait. It's part of the best day ever. Yes. That ride was crazy. I can't tell you. I don't think I've ever heard you snore before. No, I didn't. <laughs> That is still one of my favorite rides. I feel like I flew a passage. <laughs> huh? <laughs> the first time when I rode this ride, I got, like, when you went over that crest, I got super emotional. You're a little was, misty. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm obsessed with it, and... That's more of Animal Kingdom's heart. Again, yes, it's yeah. it's finding the realism in these environments. Yes, you actually feel like you're on the back of a banshee. Yeah. There's, like, the, it, the banshee breathes, there's, when the wings fly, you don't just like soar along. You feel the way the wind would draft if something big was like. Mm. What was that? It's a banshee. It's a ba Run! I don't think it's for everybody. I think it's definitely a little tough for people who are afraid of heights. I was next to a kid one time on this that screamed bloody murder the entire time because they thought they were on the back of a banshee yeah. and thought they were headed to their doom. Right. Um, and then also the ride vehicles don't accommodate a lot of body types. Yeah. So make sure before you wait 140 minutes um, at 8 p.m. Check it out. That you check out that uh, tester seat that is right bef before the entrance. The cast members are happy to help you and let you know if you'd be able to ride the ride. There is some motion sickness attached to it as well because yeah. there are so many screens and the 3D uh, glasses. I am scared of heights and it doesn't bother me too much, but I have had moments that like if I'm holding my phone to film it or something, I've kind of jumped because it really felt like I was that high up and I was gonna drop something. So if you are scared of heights, it might sound silly because it's a simulator, but it can be a little bit overwhelming and it's too realistic even though it's just a banshee. That's all I have to contribute. There's a reason it had the longest line in the park all day. There's right. a reason it has the longest line in the park every day pretty much. There's a reason it has, happens. There's a reason it has the longest line right here. In my heart. There's a reason it has the longest line right here in my palm. Longest relationship in my life. <laughs> well Well wow. okay. This is what's crazy about like getting getting on the attraction like right when park closes and like I mean we are we are alone we are morbidly alone Great time for morbidly <laughs> Great oh there's a, there's a person there's a person we, it was definitely on the crowded side today and I think that um, there could be a more perfect day had not on fall break mm -hmm. just where you could do more usually with perfect days we have like time to spare where we get to drop in some extra stuff that did not happen today but we got through all of our priorities yeah you got to see your characters we saw two shows we saw, we rode every ride that I wanted to ride. We ate a lot of snacks. We went to Nomad Lounge. So good. We saw the Tree of Life Awakening. It was an awesome, awesome day, even with the crowds. So it's possible if you show up and the crowds catch you off guard, you just got to play your cards right. A successful day. A successful day. That we, with, with, with a crowd of people. And then we, and then, and then, ex cue explosion graphic. <laughs> I hope they don't put an explosion graphic. <laughs> it's just us being awkward. Well, I hope it's the editor just says no right there. <laughs> <laughs> Q explosion graphic. It's car.
If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Now go watch our best day ever in Magic Kingdom. See you there. Yes, Bye. I'm going back to Nomad Lounge. Wait, no, it's closed. It's closed. It's closed. Uh, well, then I'll see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. It opens at 11. Well, at 11. <laughs>